are from EQ magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Ms. Neha Mittal with us from Elexol. Hello ma'am. Hello. Uh, ma'am, can you just brief about Elexol, like when it came into the solar industry and when it started? Uh, we would say that as soon as the, the solar started booming in India, we, were, we are here since 8 years into business. And we are running under the brand name of Elexol. Uh, we are doing uh, channel sales as well as institutional sales. We are also exporting under the same brand name. So what are the innovations of Elexol and the projects being undertaken as well as the projects in Pipeline? Uh, see, actually it's an ever-evolving uh, industry. So now, since uh, three years, we are seeing all-in-one uh, solar street lights which have come into uh, the market in a very big way. Earlier, we had just Chinese manufacturers but uh, Elexol has pioneered into it and we have been manufacturing it along with the circuit board and everything in our own factory. So I would say we are uh, mostly promoting a Make in India initiative that is taken and since three to four years we are doing uh, mostly solar home, light, uh, home lights and solar all-in-one street lights. So may I know the products you have exhibited over here and it's uh, about its technology as well? Surely. Um, we are uh, a company which is doing multifarious uh, products. We have uh, solar home light systems, solar street lights and we are also doing solar home la um, lanterns. And uh, solar panels are also there in our uh, product for portfolio where we are uh, executing solar farms for uh, some schools and colleges etc. So what's your market share like from uh, what you have supplied and installed in 2017 and 18 and what's the target for 2019? We have already installed 20,000 uh, solar uh, all-in-one street lights which is uh, in India as well as uh, in countries like Africa and uh, Philippines etc. And we are looking at a bigger target now of making at least 1,20,000 piece a year. So that will be our target for next year probably. So what are your international plans as well on t in terms of uh, exporters? We have uh, our own export network and we are looking at adding a few more uh, clients to it. Uh, we actually believe in quality product. So what happens is we want to just focus on that and not on uh, you know bulk uh, marketing. Like I could, I could easily say 5 lakhs but I won't be doing that because we are mostly into customizing products for them and doing it in a very good way. What, what do you see like what are the uh, opportunities and the uh, you know uh, we find uh, challenges in uh, solar Indian solar market the opportunities are immense actually now since uh, five years we are seeing that this government uh, per se has been focusing more on solar industry so uh, and especially the make in India initiative so there were uh, some duties earlier on levied on imports etc so that has become a good uh, boost for us as an Indian uh, uh, company we look forward at going uh, further on with it. The challenges I think would be that uh, there are st still you know, companies which feel uh, that Chinese players are bigger and their uh, quality of the product but I would say that you know uh, there is a lot of change now. So you can actually take a look at it and then decide for your own self. As you know the target has been set to 100 gigawatt by 2022. So do you think uh, it will be achievable? It is definitely achievable. We have bigger players in the market as well. So we are all, uh, you know, boosted up to take care of it, yes. And uh, as you know, the international brands are also coming up in India and uh, setting up the manufacturing units. So how much suitable it will be for the Indian customers as well as how much uh, comp uh, competition it will give to the Indian uh, manufacturers? I'm aware of some brands which are there, which are actually waiting for the Indian market to develop and you know, they'll get a set market and then they will launch their own uh, products. But uh, till then, I think Indian uh, customers are smart enough. They know like, uh, you know, an Indian based company will give them a better service uh, because in terms of, uh, you know, the output and everything and plus the uh, servicing of these things are very important at times. So for that, you need a company which is there since a uh, long time and knows the Indian market well. Thank you so much ma'am, thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you so much.